Hello again and welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, my name is Zach Hill and I'm going to try and teach you something. What we're going to do is we're going to start by making a new document. With the white background, that looks fine right there. What we're going to do is we're going to try and make, um, we're going to make the, uh, a cool spark brush that I use a lot in my comic. And so I'm just going to start by filling this whole area black. And uh, really what this tutorial is about is um, making brushes and making them do what you want them to do. So what I'm going to do is open up my brushes palette. Hopefully. Something's going wonky on my computer. There we go. What? Never mind. It went away. I dwell in darkness without you and it went away. Here we go. So I'm just going to select the, uh, just the 9 pixel brush. And this area right here shows you what it is that the, uh, that the brush is supposed to look like. And, uh, if you notice, sure enough, that's just how it looks. What we're going to do is we're going to change the brush so that it looks the way we want it to look. And so I'm going to go here and I'm going to change its master diameter to about 5 pixels. Then we're going to click here on the brush tip shape and change the spacing. I want to put as much spacing as possible in between these dots. I'm going to go into the shape dynamics and put a little bit of a size jitter in there just so that they're not all the same size. kind of wish that I had a way of changing the maximum diameter instead of the minimum diameter. If someone can figure that out for me that would be awesome. And let me know. Um, we're also going to change the roundness jitter just a bit. And if we're going to do that, throw some angle in there. Just to kind of make things not quite, you know, just kind of insert some randomness into it. And then we're going to go into the scatter and uh, just move the scatter all the way up. What does that do for me? Oh, okay. And we're going to see how this looks now. So as you can see, it's, uh... We'll zoom in a bit more. I think this recording program is causing a little... wreaking a little bit of havoc with my computer. So you can see here it makes these little oblong shapes and it just kind of randomly scatters them around. Actually, you zoomed in like that, it kind of looks like the Hubble telescope. And uh, that's pretty much exactly what we were looking for. It's just something that makes random little spark thingamajigs and you know the purpose of that is to kind of look snazzy. So what you gotta do at that point is you come down here you click on that and you make a new brush. This brush has all the options that we just defined and it'll save it into your into your brush palette and we'll close this and now anytime you go into your brushes here's your you know normal round brushes up here and your fuzzy ones and your brushy ones and your leafy ones and all this stuff and down here at the very bottom is the spark brush you can click on that and do whatever you want with it because it's the spark brush and it's awesome. Anyhow, that's really it for this. It's um, it's a really easy thing to make and a really easy thing to uh, to do some good effects with. So, go ahead and make one of your own and uh, go out and just tear it up and make something cool. And that's all I got to say. Thank you for joining me for another video tutorial. Signing.